Hi, and welcome to Troop Dribble. How do you think I get ready for Troop Dribble Channel? Like I always do. I brush my dribble hair. I brush it with little baby brushes, and if I ever had guinea pig, I would do baby shampoo for it. And we'll help. We'll help the baby a lot. Yeah, well, they act happier when you help them. So. Now this one I adopted from Pound. Her name is Salsa. When we got her, she was great because she was in a window cake, which is very bad for gerbils. But now she's all happy in her new house. And I give her stuff like this and other stuff. Brilliant. Watch my dribble for me. Now, if the cat comes up, don't kill <laughs> Um, a tube for the tube gerbil. I always use a different tube. And and you have to put plenty of this stuff in her cage or she will not grow happy and healthy for lips. If you don't give her chew toys, her lips will grow outside of her mouth. Stop dribbling. Um, as you can see, we are going to run out of time in about five minutes. And I understand this is a long video, so... You don't have to stay for all of it if you don't want. But this video will be specifically on how to take care of a gerbil. Now, I do this about every week or so, but but that's just me. The sites and stuff call for it like once a month. And it's really healthy. And in case you have a pregnant gerbil, I know what to do with those too. You break open a little egg, a boiled egg, and you take out the yolk, um, and you take a tiny little chunk, and you put it inside. But make sure if you have a pregnant gerbil, unlike me, I have a healthy and one happy gerbil. No, no, don't eat your hairbrush. Don't eat your little hairbrush. Okay, baby? Oh, yeah, I took away your tube. Yeah, take back the tube. And I have brand new gerbil. I would throw And your mother said that you could have one toy each time you went to wherever you're buying your toys from. I would go to Petco and buy a playpen. Because when you first get a gerbil, it's not going to be socialized. So it's going to need to be taught back. It won't be compatible with you yet. You have to teach it that it, you're always going to be there for it, and you're going to feed it, and you're going to give it water, and you have to teach it that. 
you have to give it plenty of love. And I understand this video is kind of long, but at least it will be worth it for this little one. And please do so leave a comment. I'm tired of never getting comments. It breaks my heart and jerky. And I would brush her hair once a day, but that's just me. The sites call for once a month, like I said. And you just need to do that. Um, big shout out to, actually, um, big shout out to Duke Dribble. Um, soon we are going to make our own site, but for now I'm just doing it on my mother. Because, um, I don't really feel like making a whole site for this Dribble, so I'll do that later, maybe in a couple days. But if you are one of the people that either liked or commented, um, I'll make some special videos for you. Um, my email is Mandy at Frog Queen at yahoo.com. And maybe if you email me an idea, I'll send a video to you. I'll send you a link for a video, or I'll, or I'll update you on everything. And I'll tell you everything that's going on, and stuff like that. So, I know that you're probably all girls, so, yeah. Um, if you have your own YouTube channel, that's great. We can chat there. But, like, I think that baby brushes will work best for her hair. That's just me. You can be on a whole different idea. I just like brushing her hair once in a while because it makes her feel nice inside and it makes her feel fluffy and soft. Imagine if somebody was always brushing your hair. Wouldn't that make you feel special? Wouldn't that make you feel cared for? Wouldn't it? Same with this gerbil. She loves everybody and everything. So if your name is Puja and you live really close to my house, I have this gerbil and she's adorable. Um, if you're Jordan, also known as Wild Dragon most of the time, Italia lovers and stuff like that, from across the street, we can hang out with my gerbil some more. And yes, I am filming from a baby chair. Yeah, it's kind of creepy, I know, I know. And I love you, Charlie. It's so a cool, like you are the best. And Ray William Johnson, you are also really good. Couldn't live without your videos. And you say you is dead. Like your videos. You are fun. And Charlie, I am following you on Twitter. Okay? If there's a slight chance that you're watching this. A camera. Making a tube dribble day on how to take care of her. So, really helpful, healthy dribble. And try and get a little small playpen or something. If you're just getting a gerbil, that's why you, that's what I got first. And give them plenty of stuff to chew on. She really likes her tubes though. Give them 
give your dribbles a full paper tube and I bet within two minutes they'll chew it all up. I know mine has. No, 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 don't, don't chew on that, don't chew on that. Chew on the other thing. I got you something else. You have two other things that you can chew on. And right now, yes, I am filming from my house. I have not become a star. I wish I had. So the more, and, um... I'll give you more facts on how to take care of a gerbil. If some of you guys just send this to your friends, post it on websites that you know of, maybe even chickens movies, stuff like that. And um, I'll be really grateful if you did, and I'll make you some special videos and stuff like that. And um, Charlie, you are the best ever. So also... Give your dribbles plenty of stuff to play on. Sometimes I just grab some of my toys, make a little tube out of it, and then she climbs through them. But, um, any item, any household item will work, okay? Any household item will work the best. Household item. Recycling works really well. Oh, and also make sure that if you feed your durable cardboard, that's not colored. See? Not colored. Yeah, it's brown, but yeah, that's not really the ink that they're not supposed to have. Sometimes I connect the recycling to recycling. So that when she goes through it, she goes all the way the other side and back. So, um... Hey, Gerbily, you're starting to get an attitude. She tossed her cube off the side. Um, BRB, I need to grab it. Um, she and I have this really cool trick where I wink, she winks, and it's adorable. Just saying. So, that's one of the basic facts. Um, I saw this some um, sand bed online, and you should really check it out. It's where they can bathe themselves in like this little sand type thing. Sorry if there's distractions around the room. Um, I know I'm going a little bit distracted, but this is only like my fourth video. Go and see Zombie Attack, Tube Dribble versus Zombie. It's it's really cute. 
Um, my first two dribble just said two dribble. And um, more coming soon. Just saying. Um, make sure that you always hold your dribble with two hands. It makes her feel safe. It makes her feel like someone care, is caring for her and she doesn't get scared. My two dribble is really active. And she gets scared pretty easily. And the hard part... And um, if you're just watching this because you like being mocked by cute animals, you should get a gerbil. It's just fine. Even if you have a cat or a dog, it's just fine. I have a cat. I've seen tons of videos where people have dogs in the background and they're talking about gerbils. And I'm just saying, gerbils are so small. And, um, sometimes they can mess up their cages, so watch her out. Entertain them, gerbily. Um, I'm going to just do something really quickly, so. I'm just playing her. Me and my mom are going to go shopping for a new bowl. You may think that nothing's wrong with this bowl, right? Yeah, well, she chewed about half of it off because she had nothing to chew for a little bit. Yeah, I know. Um, now just make sure that you hold them exactly how I told you. And you keep them in the house most of the time unless you're completely trained. And... Bye. See you next time on the Tube Gerbil.